Ever wondered how decision trees are induced in visual mining? Picture this, a world of data, vast and intricate, and a tool that helps us navigate through this complexity, extracting valuable insights. This is the realm of visual mining and decision tree induction, two pivotal elements in the field of computer science. Intriguing, isn't it? The blend of technology, data, and visualization, all working together to simplify the complex. Well, stay tuned as we unravel this interesting process together. To start with, what is visual mining? Visual mining is a subfield of data mining that focuses on the visualization of data to help us understand complex patterns. It's like being a detective, but for data. You see, data in its raw form can be overwhelming, but visual mining transforms this raw data into a visual representation, making it easier to comprehend and interpret. Now, why is visual mining important? Well, in today's data-driven world, we're constantly bombarded with tons of information. Visual mining allows us to sift through this deluge and identify key insights, trends and patterns that might otherwise be missed. It's like having a compass in the wilderness of data. From business intelligence to scientific research, visual mining plays a crucial role in data analysis. It aids in decision-making, problem-solving and even prediction. So, in essence, Visual mining is a powerful tool for data analysis and interpretation. Now that we understand visual mining, what role does a decision tree play in this process? Let's dive into decision tree induction, a fundamental concept in visual mining. Decision tree induction is a method used in machine learning to generate a decision tree from a data set. This tree is used to make predictions based on the input data. So, what's the purpose of a decision tree in visual mining? Well, its primary goal is to classify data. It does this by creating a model that predicts the value of a target variable based on several input variables. Each internal node of the tree corresponds to an input variable. Each branch represents a decision rule, and each leaf node represents an outcome, the prediction. Imagine a tree that helps you decide whether to carry an umbrella or not. It might consider variables like the weather forecast, the chance of rain, and whether it's a working day or a weekend. Decision trees, therefore, are crucial in organizing and classifying data in visual mining. Now the most interesting part, how are decision trees induced in visual mining? Visual mining is a process that transforms raw data into understandable visual forms, and one of the most effective tools it utilizes is the decision tree. But how does this induction happen? Let's break it down step by step. First off, we start with a data set. This data set is composed of several instances, each with its own set of attributes. One of these attributes is chosen as the target attribute, the one we want to predict or classify. The first step in decision tree induction is to choose an attribute from our dataset to be the root of the tree. This is often done through an algorithm such as ID3 or C4. 5. Which determines the best attribute based on certain criteria like information gain or gain ratio. Once the root attribute is selected, the dataset is split based on the values of this attribute. Each unique value of the attribute becomes a branch of the tree. This process of splitting creates subsets of the original dataset. Each subset then becomes the input for a new decision tree, with the process repeating recursively. The tree grows, branches out and forms nodes until a stopping condition is met. This could be when all instances in a subset belong to the same class or when all the values of the attributes have been exhausted. At each node, a decision is made. This decision is based on the attribute value of the instance. If an instance reaches a leaf node, it's classified according to the class label of that node. Throughout this induction process, the decision tree visually represents the data, turning complex patterns into understandable visuals. It allows us to see the decisions made at each step, how the data is split, and how the instances are classified. But remember, a decision tree is only as good as its induction process. The better the attribute selection and splitting, the more accurate the tree will be in its predictions and classifications. That's how decision trees are induced in visual mining, simplifying complex data patterns into understandable visual representations. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Visual mining is a powerful tool for data analysis, using visual interfaces to simplify complex data. It's where decision tree induction comes into play, a method that builds a model to predict the value of a target variable. This process is significant as it enables us to make informed decisions based on the patterns and trends in our data. 
So the next time you see a decision tree, you'll know the intricate process behind its creation in visual mining. Keep exploring, keep learning,